Anyway, let's get into our boxing news, man. Big fight that happened Saturday night between Adrian Bronner and Jesse Vargas. A lot of crap talking was done, of course, leading up to the fight, as usual, about uh, from the can man, of course, Adrian Bronner. Uh, about dis- he disrespected his perf- uh, his uh, promoter on the stage. He disrespected uh, Jesse Vargas. He disrespected a rival, a boxer under undercard. And somebody told and, him not and, the uh, and, not the shit where he eating. And, and Broner <laughs> should know that you catch more flies with honey do you, than God you damn, do with bro. vinegar. But obviously, he don't care about where he spill his vinegar. Yeah. Bottom line. But anyway, he said he was going to beat up Jesse Vargas. And let me tell you, don't disrespect anybody with the last name Vargas. Those guys can fight. Okay. And, and possibly line. can own a casino. <laughs> and then the reality of the situation at the end of the day, Broner and Vargas uh, was a split decision, a unanimous decision. They went down toward the fight. Some people believe Broner won. Some people believe Vargas won. What do you believe? I think that uh, I think it was a fair call. I think hey, that a, a draw was. A I, th- fair call. I think did it was a fair call. Fight? I watched the fight. Did you see his face? I did see his face. He uglied them up. But then, but the reality of the situation is, if Broner wanted to win the fight. He should have been more aggressive and, and took agree. this guy out. He was Do not, supposed to win. Let me tell you something. Like, a guy, a, it shouldn't have been you, Broner, a split decision. Adrian Broner is not a well liked fighter. He disrespects the, the the guys that's interviewing him. He, he how you disrespect Jim Gray, man? Jim Gray been there for years. How do you talk about Jim Gray's suit and t- and ask him if he has cataracts? Man, respect your elders, man. First of all, you, you know a lot of people, professional people around the fight don't like Adrian Broner. You know, you know what I'm saying? I personally, I like Adrian Broner. Because he's a talented guy, I love. I like. I like a guy that speaks his mind. But at the same time, let me tell you something, man. That rubs people the wrong way, and you can't leave nothing in the hands of the judges when you're going into a fight like that. You know, you ain't fighting in Cincinnati. You know, right. then at the end of the fight, he disrespects the crowd by saying it's a lot of Mexicans and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, that was <laughs> yeah. kind of crazy. So I mean, he come was in on, Brooklyn. man. Come like, on, yeah, man. Like, yeah, in Brooklyn, my man. Like, yeah, what else you going to go? Bro. I mean. You know, come on. I understand you speaking your mind. They got a lot of Mexican people, come bro. They filter. come to see their people, man. But you God cannot. Damn. You cannot. If you you don't leave nothing in the hands of the judges, knock the knock, knock the goddamn guy out and move right. on and go comb your hair, brush your hair, whatever you do. But anyway, it was a split decision. I, I consider it. Uh, a fair call. Broner should have released his hands more. He should have done more. He's a better fighter than Vargas, but he should have released them hands as much as he released his mouth. So well, bottom I, line. I, I watched the whole complete fight. And, and I uh, did too. That's why I said what I said. <laughs> okay. I watched the Mister. whole I watched the whole complete fight live. <laughs> I did too. Live. Let me, let me on quit my let computer. me quit messing with you, my brother. Yes. But uh yeah. After seeing the whole fight, I feel like Browner won the fight, but it wasn't like he won the fight overwhelmingly. The reason I feel like Browner won the fight is because after maybe like the six or seven round, it was like maybe six or seven round, when he actually stopped trying to hold his defense up. Because a lot of the early rounds that they gave August, in my opinion, he wasn't really doing anything. He just was a lot more active. Um, He wasn't hurting Browner. He wasn't really hitting him. Browner was actually hitting Vargas in the earlier rounds, but it was very sneaky licks. Uh, there were counter punches, and he was only throwing one, two punches at a time, uh, being silly and keep shaking his head every time Vargas throws punches. That's what I'm punches saying. I understand that's your style, man, but get the guy out of there, man. Uh, I, I don't want to see you shake your head, my brother. When, I mean, when get him out of he there. not hurting you, well, punch him in the face and then shake your head and say no. And, and another like, thing about watching uh, Andrew, Adrian Brown fight, he takes too, um, too many unnecessary head shots. Yeah, I mean, he's he does. fast enough to duck at the he guy does. that he's fighting, but yet he, he, he doesn't do it. You right. got to incorporate that more in the fight. You got to, I don't know if you're trying to prove that you could take the man punches. That's, that's not the point. It's to beat him up, make him ugly while keeping yourself looking good. Well, that's that's what the that's, that's why uh, I saw Vargas get him with some nice shots, and Vargas really did his thing there. But when from the the seventh round on, man, he completely like basically, I wouldn't say dominated Vargas, but he won pretty much every round in my opinion. And I guess unless you want to say the twelfth round was suspect, but I mean Vargas didn't really take it either. I mean that could have been a ten ten or nine nine round for both of them. Going into our next group of news right quick, uh, dealing with the Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua fight. And I wish I had better news for you guys to deliver, but it's the same nonsense as uh, Lou DeBella and Eddie Hearns continue to go at each fight other. Dante and they, they continue <laughs> to go at each other. They, they sent the proposal over there uh, a, a week or so ago uh, to Deontay Wilder. They thought it was a they thought it was disrespectful. And I, and I don't know if they sent their counter offer back, but it's a lot of joining between those guys by the looks of it, between Hearn and DeBella. 
they they don't respect each other. So I don't think the fight's going to happen. That's just my opinion on it. I don't think well, it's going to happen. If, if it's it too much foolishness. Right now, it has and then to outside of later. that. He's gonna, gonna be a mandatory contender at but some point. The, the key, the key thing about this is the fact that if you look at the mandatory fight that's on the horizon, he has to fight uh, uh, Alexander Povetkin, and Povetkin's no punk. Because uh, you better be mindful and careful yeah, that's of your, that. That's your guy. Huh? Povetkin's a bulldog, man. He's a pit bull, and you you get in the ring with Povetkin, and he knocks out big guys. He beat the last guy he knocked out was a big six, seven guy. He just knocked his ass out. So I mean. You better be mindful of that. Also, with the Triple G news, the, the quick news to hit you with the Triple G news is the fact Triple G has a fight lined up as well. And Triple G will be fighting, how do you pronounce this guy's name, DC? Um, let's see, uh, Marta Racine. Marta or whatever. Saturday the 5th, 2018. Jolo's a mandatory. Undercard, uh, he, he, he's un- a mandatory he's after this fight. So that, he put his be. guy down in two rounds. So we'll see what's happening with Triple G. The fight's been moved to Stub Hub Center in Carlson, California on May the 5th. Uh, Cinco de Mayo, baby. So that'll do the show today on the Sports Coma with Big Q and the guys. I'd like to thank y'all for joining us. Uh, if you love the show, you love us, please, if you want to help us out, donate at our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash the PRO Media Network. Remember, please comment and let us know how you feel about DC's my draft and other comments and news as well. So from me <laughs> well, and DC, peace. I love my draft, man. You're listening to the PRO Media Network. The next level in entertainment.